In today's video, we're talking about how to clean and care for the clarinet. Now, every time that you get done playing the clarinet, there's one thing that you always need to do, and that's swab your instrument. So what I have here is a clarinet swab. It's uh, got cloth on one side connected to a string with a weight on the other end. Now, I, what I do is I put the weight through the bell side of the clarinet first, and we let it drop down through there with gravity out the other end. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to pull it through here, and it's going to remove any moisture that's inside the clarinet. Now, there is one word of warning that I want to give you while you're doing this, and that has to do with the weight that's on the end. So I've got this weight down here, and if I just continue to pull it through, everything's going to be fine. But if I pull it back up through here really fast, there is a chance that it can chip the mouthpiece as it comes back through and it catches the end of this. And I've seen that happen before. Somebody puts it through there and then they want to give it a second run through and they just rip it through here really fast. That can shatter your mouthpiece. So just go one direction. Be mindful of the weight and the mouthpiece as you do that. And it just takes a few seconds. You can do that, or you should do that, every time that you're done playing the instrument, as soon as you finish. Then you can just take it, loosely wrap it back up, and then put it somewhere to store. If it's really super wet, which happens sometimes. It's sometimes not a great idea to get it all compact, put it back down in your clarinet case, and then just leave it there because it gets moldy. Um, so I have seen people that have separate bags for these that they put outside of their case. Or if you're just going to be putting it back in the case and using it every day, keep it really loosely wrapped. All right. The next few things I'm going to show you are things that you should just do peri periodically as needed. Number one. This is a pipe cleaner, and sometimes you'll take a look inside the, uh, the holes on the clarinet here, and this one's pretty clean, but sometimes you'll notice they get kind of white crust on the inside there. What that is is skin cells that have come off, and you can take the pipe cleaner, and you can go around the inside of it like that and brush out any of that stuff that builds up inside there. Now, I have seen people that have taken this and tried to dust underneath the rods. I mean, you can do that. I personally don't like doing it because a lot of times the fuzzy white stuff comes off and then you end up getting rid of the dust but putting fuzzy pipe cleaner underneath there. I've got a better solution. It only costs a couple of bucks. Go to a cosmetic section somewhere, buy yourself a blush brush that you use just for your instruments, and then you can use this to dust underneath these rods and it does a really good job of reaching underneath the rods and getting any dust that might be underneath there. Next I'm going to show you a polish cloth. Polish cloth is used for getting any of the fingerprints off of the instrument and that'll keep your instrument uh, shiny longer keep the polish from wearing off. It'll also keep the fingerprints off of the silver parts. So that's one way to keep it shiny. This is cleaning paper. Sometimes on any woodwind instrument you get keys that stick a little bit. I mean you, you go to push one down and, and maybe it just kind of gets stuck or it gives a little sound whenever you try to pull it back up because there might be something sticky on it. So what you do with the uh, sticky pad is you put the cleaning paper underneath it, hold it for just a few seconds, and then while you have a little bit of pressure on it, not so much that you're going to rip the paper, go ahead and pull it back out. Now this clarinet's pretty clean because um, I've been taking care of it, but on one that hasn't been taken very well care of. Sometimes you'll see like some green, <laughs> green or blue or red gunk come off of there. And that's how you clean the pads. So a warning for you is you don't want to get the clarinet wet. That's going to ruin the clarinet. I had a student once about 15 years ago who decided to put the uh, clarinet into the dishwasher <laughs> to clean it. And she came to me the next day and she said, Mr. Combs, every time I play, my clarinet blows soap bubbles and I don't know what to do. Well, what we did is we threw the clarinet away eventually. Um, <clears throat> you just, you can't get this wet because it's going to ruin the pads and a lot of clarinets are made out of wood and it's just not good for them. However, you can get 
the mouthpiece wet. So, all you gotta do is make sure that the water doesn't get onto the cork here. I mean, a little bit's fine, it's no big deal, just make sure you wipe it off, but I always try to keep that out of the water. You can run water through it, and you can also put soap in it, and you can scrape it out with a mouthpiece brush. This is a mouthpiece brush, and what you would do with this is run some water into the mouthpiece, and as it's wet, you're going to use the brush to get any of the stuff that may have built up inside the mouthpiece. You can also use it on the outside of the mouthpiece, and I usually use that with soap as well. Now, the next two things that I'm going to show you, I would recommend having a teacher help you with. I wouldn't do it on your own right away. But, uh, if you're in middle school or junior high, you might want to wait until you're a bit older. But uh, we're going to talk about applying bore oil and also using key oil. Now, key oil should be used at least once a year. And what key oil is for is lubricating all of the, the joints on the clarinet, all of these silver rods. You're going to find that there are places, like this spot right here between my fingers, where there's a joint where you've got this tube connected to the post right there. And what I'm going to do is every spot that there is a joint like that, or a, a, a crack in any of these rods, like uh, right there, I'm just going to take and put just a drop of key oil. And I'm going to let it soak in. After I let it soak in for a little bit, I'm going to um, do this with all of the, the keys, kind of work it in let it soak up in, inside the, uh, the rods there. And that's gonna get oil on the insides of this to make the keys work a little smoother. Now, that can get kind of messy after you do that to every single one of the joints on the clarinet. So after I let it set for a while, I take a paper towel and I try to get it nice and dry. And you might find for the next day or two that you get a little bit of oil on your hands after you do that. But that is a maintenance thing that you should do once a year with uh, clarinets, flutes, saxophones, anything with keys like this. And finally, with bore oil. Bore oil is something that you would use with wooden clarinets. Now, I'm not going to show that to you today. I want you to talk to your teacher about it and have your teacher show you how to do that. But basically what you're going to do with a wooden clarinet is put some bore oil on a separate swab. I wouldn't use the swab that you use every day. And you're gonna put put that oil on the swab, do this with it to kind of get it worked through the swab, and maybe blot it with a paper towel to get any excess off of there. You're gonna run it back through the clarinet again a couple of times. It's gonna get bore oil on the inside of it. And then you're going to run another swab through it to dry it out and get any of the excess oil off of it. And that's something that you should do about once every three months with a wooden clarinet. One final word, warning about clarinets. You always want to make sure that you're storing this inside. Um, I have seen kind of some horror stories where students will put a clarinet in a case in a car overnight. Uh, where I live it gets really, really cold sometimes in the winter, um, down below freezing. And especially with wooden clarinets, when they get too cold, they, they expand, they swell, and sometimes you'll just feel them or hear them just pop. And when that happens, they're pretty well junk. Um, and that just happens from freezing. So with any instrument, especially the clarinet, you want to keep it out of extreme temperature. Never store it in a car um, overnight. Never, never leave it in uh, a closed car when it's really hot outside either because that can melt the glue that's on the pads. So always make sure you're keeping it at room temperature wherever you store it.